On January 15, Tonga's Hunga Tonga Hunga Hapai volcano erupted under the sea, rocking the South Pacific nation and sending tsunamis racing around the world. The eruption was the most powerful ever recorded, causing an atmospheric shock wave that circled the globe four times and sending a plume of debris more than 50 kilometers into the atmosphere. But it didn't stop there. It belched out more than ashen volcanic gases, it also spewed 58,000 Olympic-sized swimming pools worth of water vapor into Earth's atmosphere, a new study finds. That water will likely remain there for years, where it could eat away at the ozone layer and perhaps even warm Earth. When the Honda Tonga Honga Ha Pai volcano erupted on January 15, it became the most powerful explosion on Earth in more than 30 years, with an equivalent force of 100 Hiroshima bombs. The explosion sent shock waves around the planet, causing the atmosphere to ring like a bell and generating tsunamis that battered nearby coasts. A plume of ash and dust reached higher into the atmosphere than any other eruption on record and triggered more than 590,000 lightning strikes in three days. In the new study, researchers used data collected by NASA's Aura satellite to assess the amount of water that was thrust into the stratosphere, the second layer in Earth's atmosphere, which extends from 4 to 12 miles, 6 to 20 kilometers, up to 31 miles, 50 kilometers above the planet's surface. The results revealed that 160,900 tons, 146,000 metric tons, of additional water vapor had entered the stratosphere since the volcano erupted, reaching a maximum altitude of 33 miles, 53 kilometers, which is in the mesosphere, the layer of the atmosphere that extends from the top of the stratosphere to an altitude of 53 miles, 85 kilometers. This makes it the largest and highest injection of water into the stratosphere since satellites began taking measurements. But the actual effects on climate will likely take time to understand, says Allegra Legrand, a physical research scientist at NASA's Goddard Institute for Space Studies who is not involved with the work. I don't think there is a consensus about what the overall impact will be. High above Earth, the water will likely react with other chemicals, potentially degrading the ozone layer that protects us from ultraviolet light, and even changing the circulation of air currents that govern weather patterns. As the climatic impacts unfold, scientists are eagerly awaiting even more new insights from a volcanic eruption that's proved to be unlike any other they've seen. It's exciting seeing these new measurements, Legrand says. It's exciting seeing something we haven't seen before. Image credit, NASA Earth Observatory image by Joshua Stevens using those imagery courtesy of NOAA and Nestus.